Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Yip, it's your first time here. Thank you for joining me in my little corner of the internet. Today I have a video all about... Today I have a video all about these new Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. I'm so excited. I was able to get the first two lipsticks in the initial launch when her, her True Velvet launch first happened. Uh, I just couldn't get Velvet Jazz, so while I was picking up Velvet Jazz this time around, she released uh, six more new six new shades, so I picked those up as well. And these time, this time it's red, but it also has some more nude colors as well as like some deeper red. So I'm really excited because it's very appropriate for, for fall. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking and go right into the swatching on my lips uh i wanted to just do the entire collection including her first launch just because i didn't do a video on it on the first time so yeah um these lipsticks retail for around 32 dollars us and in total in the sets they retail around like 96 dollars so yes uh it's in the same lisa eldridge packaging as the her other lipsticks it comes in this lisa eldridge box i'm not going to show you this over and over again but there's her name logoed on as well as the iconic gold lipstick tube it looks like this and i know it doesn't look that special on camera but in real life it feels really heavy duty it feels really luxurious uh and then it has like the lisa eldridge logo embossed on the top and the really cool thing about these lipsticks are that they have a velvet looking outer layer so yeah these are really hard to make she announced that she would no longer be trying to make them multiple times a year i think she's only going to be releasing these once a year every time she makes them so they're really hard to get but i was able to get all of them and this time it just seemed like she was better with um having more stock for everyone because i'm pretty sure you can still purchase some of these currently and it's been like I feel like a month since this launched or like the pre-order happened so there's plenty of times for you to be able to purchase during the pre-order pre as well as some time um, after the pre-order for you to purchase so that's great but uh, it is really hard to get so i hope if you were looking forward to trying these that you were able to uh, get some i got some of my own lipsticks but i also purchased a set for my best friend because she was looking for a perfect red lipstick for herself and she was just having a hard time and i figured there had to be one from this collection that worked for her because they are such stunning lipsticks uh i these aren't a first impression for me if these lipsticks are true to their original form formula <laughs> then i'm pretty sure i'll like them because i have been wearing these reds uh, previously because i did have two other two of the first lipsticks that launched so yeah uh i'm gonna go ahead and start with i have, i don't know should i go through all the reds first what do you guys think not that you guys will be able to tell me but um i guess i could just start with the first collection which was velvet morning which is this orangey red um this has been used so the tip isn't as pretty as the other ones but it does have that outer velvet layer it, it hurts my heart every time i use these because these, these are so pretty um this velvet morning color is an orangey red i'll go ahead and swatch that for you so that's velvet morning right there on the back of my hand i'll include pictures of these swatches at the very end just so you can uh look at them really closely if you want to and then i'm just gonna go ahead and start swatching these and then as i talk about it i'm going to have a video of me lip swatching them so that you guys can see what the color looks on my lips so this is velvet morning
feel like this is such a pretty orangey red and I know one of you guys asked me about this specific color so if you weren't able to get it before go ahead and get your hands on it now because it is such a beautiful orangey red and then this is the other lipstick from the first collection this color is velvet uh, ribbon and this is a true red and it has that beautiful outer velvet layer as well I'll just go ahead and swatch that next too such a pretty true red it gives you that I don't know it's just that classic like cherry red that makes you feel really confident really powerful and I just love this red and I think she did such a great what I think she did I think she did such a great job with this color and it's stunning it's comfortable it's beautiful it's buttery it just goes on it's it's amazing wow that color is impressive pretty true red and then the last one I got from this recent launch, because I wasn't able to get it during the first launch, is Velvet Jazz. And that's what it looks like in the tube. It's a darker red. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I got this color. This color is my favorite so far wow of the reds from that true velvet collection this is my favorite red oh velvet jazz moving on to the new collection i'll be swatching the light set which is, which are all the nude colors and velvet muse and this is like a brownie this is so pretty this is like a brownie pinky rose color this color I actually would wear because it doesn't look so bubblegummy pink it's more like a neutral pink but look at how different that looks compared to my lips I don't know if it's just that velvet color that makes it look more warm but on me it looks a little a little bit more cool like what okay this next one is velvet beauty and this one's more of like a cool tone pink key nude i don't know if this color is going to be look, look nice on me to be honest Velvet Beauty on the lips. Uh, so this isn't for me. This is way too pink on my skin tone. I don't love these kind of pinks, so that's a hard pass for me. But if you're into like bubblegummy pinks, maybe you'd be into this. And the last one from the light velvet collection is Velvet Fawn. And this color I'm very excited about. It's like a concealer nude. It's like a cool tone nude. More cool tone neutral. Maybe more neutral nude. But that one looks beautiful. Is velvet fawn on my lips this is reading a bit light on me so the lip liner is definitely helping but I don't know look guys like why did why do these look so different on, on me like on my lips I don't know what it is about my lips but this isn't am I tripping out but I do like this color well this first one is called velvet decade and it's a brownie red color. It's so pretty. And 
then this is Velvet Decade on the lips. It's like a ready brown color. The next color I have is Velvet Myth. And this color was selling out a lot. It's like one of the like a darker red colors. It's a bit more raspberry and it looks gorgeous. And this is Velvet Myth on my lips. This is a very berry toned red. last color I have to swatch from the very, the entire collection is Velvet Midnight and this is the darker or the darkest oxblood color from the collection. I'm very excited about this color because it matches the skirt I'm wearing currently and I don't really have a lot of colors like this dark in my collection. Okay, so that's the final lipstick, and those were all the swatches on my lips. I'm sorry I can't do comparisons today. Uh, mm, very smart to me decided that I was only going to bring one SD card that's 4 gigabytes, and I've been having to like pull all the files into the computer and then like put it back and all the extra things because I left my uh, larger SD card somewhere else at my friend's house so right now um, I won't be able to do comparisons because it's a lot of work coming to like transfer all the files but if you guys want me to do comparisons um, if you guys want me to give you references for colors maybe if you weren't able to get the these during this past launch I'd be happy to do so in another video I they looked different the nude colors looked a lot different in the two than they actually looked on me uh, the dark ones uh, also kind of looked a little bit different like on me I felt like than I like thought they were gonna look like I will say like the darker colors like velvet midnight and velvet I forget which one the second to last one I tried on those two were a bit harder to apply but once you like kind of like rubbed it in with your lip liner and like really meshed it together it did I feel like give a very opaque color but they weren't like the velvet ribbon or the velvet uh jazz I felt like those were you just applied and just like what's on and you, you could just call it a day um but I will say that it might just have to do with the pigments of the darker colors and the formula itself, it actually felt pretty much all the same throughout. I feel like if you want to get one of the sets, actually, I think you would be great with just the original full set, the, the original True Velvet. So that's including the Velvet Ribbon, the Velvet Jazz, and the Velvet Ribbon. Did I say Velvet Ribbon twice? Velvet Morning, Ribbon, and Jazz. That's the first collection. And I, feel, I feel like a lot of people can use those universally. Um, and I feel like it's flattering on mostly everybody. So I feel like that first collection was the best in my opinion. Uh, I feel like if you're like my skin tone or maybe if like you're more of a warmer complexion than nudes. I don't really know if you like them. They were really leaning like cool tone pink on me, so I don't know if that's for everyone if you are really into that I feel like then that's a collection you'd probably like but for me personally They weren't the nudes that were I was hoping they would be but That's completely okay uh, The dark collection I do like I feel like uh, Velvet Myth was really like more berry toned and more pinky than I was expecting it to be but it's still nice um this color i thought it was going to be a lot lot darker originally but i had to build it up to be this color with like a lip liner so i do like it once it's built up but i don't love like that little effect maybe i can do a little better job mm. at applying this lipstick i don't know
I feel like that's just one of, one of the downsides of wearing the dark lipstick. You can really see like the inner part of your lip color. But still like it, still would wear it. I feel like these lipsticks are really comfortable. They're really, really pigmented. Uh, they're easy to wear and they're flattering for most skin types. So uh, that will be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!